Yeah, now welcome to the Balloon Hitting Championships. Today's match is sponsored by Herbs of Gold Fish Oil. Oh, did you see that? There's a rally going on between Agnes and Norma with the blue balloon. Fucking one, two, three, and oh, Norma has spaced out. She's choked. But look at Ernie swooping in. Bam! He's got a bigger backhand than Roger Federer. Agnes is caught on the back foot and lobs it high into the fucking sky. Crikey, she did a combo. She lobs the blue balloon. Then Rhonda tries to fucking take her out with the red balloon. She yells, get fucked, Rhonda, and fires it downfield. Rhonda is like, fair play, bitch. You got me this time. Norma is still spaced out. She's having a jolly good time, though. The great thing about this sport is that you don't have to give a fuck about it. Oh, unless you're Agnes. She gives a fuck. They don't call her agile Agnes around the village for nothing. She trains night and day. She watches her diet. And she has a tremendous hairdo to boot. She's a champion. The only one, the only one that could challenge her would be old mate Ernie with his big fuck off Roger Federer backhand. Everyone else is a bit of an amateur, to be honest. Anyway, what a fair dinkum great day in the village. Summer has arrived in the Southern Hemisphere and this video has me fucking pumped. Here we have a Flow Rider employee easing a middle-aged man into his first ever extreme sport experience. The Flow Rider employee says, you just keep your feet on the board, it's bloody piss easy. But it doesn't look piss easy. The middle-aged man is as wobbly as a barrel on stilts. He yells out, whoa, Nelly. The Flow Rider employee says, come on, Grandpa, quit holding on to me. Grow a pair of balls, mate. Where are your bloody balls? I'm looking down there and I can't see them. I know you have them. You need to quit doubting yourself and believe. Unleash those balls and let go. Be free. Be free, motherfucker. Yeah, no. Okay, I got you. I got you, daddy. The middle-aged man says, don't call me daddy. That's creepy. To be fair, I reckon I couldn't do this either. I think this fella reflects my future. He is my spirit animal. Whoever's controlling the water is getting fed up. They start fucking with the direction of it. He's got no choice. He's just gonna have to ride the wave. Take the plunge. Yeah, he's done it. He's done. No, he hasn't. The Flow Rider employee is a bit of a helicopter parent, actually. He smothers the middle-aged man. Okay, here we go. Kelly Slater, eat your heart out. The world has a new surfing champion. He's gonna get an EA Sports game named after him. He is fair dinkum cruising. He's a natural. He is a natural. Oh, wait a sec. Hold your horses. Man down. Man down. Oh, he never should have left the house. This is what happens when you take risks. The poor wanker is gonna drown in a fake ocean while his family films it. They're gonna be like, remember that time dad drowned in a theme park? That was funny. Okay, no, they stopped the water. Thank you. Okay, that's good. He's safe. He tells everyone not to panic. No one was. Now he gets a burst of adrenaline. He feels like he was part of Point Break with Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. He fell over again. Ah, oh dear. Now he's excited. He's like, that was bloody gnarly. Best summer ever. Welcome to what's shaping up to be one of the most controversial videos for 2018. Here we have a mama bear and her cub just trying to get to the top of a mountain. Unfortunately for them, a hobbyist drone operator has decided that today's a good day to audition to be a fucking BBC Planet Earth cinematographer. Yeah, nah, yeah, look, I've added in the sound of the drone, so you really, you really get an idea of the atmosphere here. <laughs> The drone is probably one of those ones that's marketed as quiet or silent. It's it's a peaceful as fuck, non-intrusive atmosphere, I'm sure. I'm not being sarcastic at all. Anyway, baby bear is like, Mum, can you fucking hear that? What What is that sound? Is it a bird of prey? Is it one of those 747 Boeings that you told me about? The, the planes? Mum's like, I don't know, to be honest. It's probably got something to do with humans, but I couldn't tell you what the fuck it is. Just focus on the mountain, because that's what's going to kill you. Whereas baby bear is like, the mountain's a piece of piss. I'm not worried about the mountain. I'm worried about what's sneaking up behind me. And now the fucking drone drone operator is going for a career making shot. Mama gets freaked out. She takes a swipe and baby bear slides all the way down, 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 down. Sorry, mum. I, I fucked up. I didn't mean to slide all the way down there, but I'm just, I'm really distracted. Why do the humans want to hover 
above me? Are they watching me? Are they spying on me? I mean, what's so good about my life? All I do is eat, shit, sleep, play, piss, eat, shit, sleep, play, piss, repeat cycle. Well, well, what's in it for them? I don't, I don't fucking get it. Yeah, I know, honey. I don't know why either. They just, you know, they don't have much going on in their own lives and seeing you climb up a steep mountain probably means something to them. You might end up on a poster that says perseverance or persistence or determination or something to do with hard work making money in the end. That's probably what they want to use you for. What the, what, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Am I going to get any of this money stuff that you speak of for inspiring the humans, for encouraging them, for motivating them to get off their fat lazy asses and to achieve their dreams? Am I? Am I going to get any of that money? Probably not, honey. The humans, they're not big sharers. Just don't worry about it. We don't need it, okay? Come here. Let's go. Let's go into the bush. We'll go find some fish. We'll go have a feed, okay? All right. Here we have a frog that appears to be fucked. Yeah, nah, it is fucked. It has its head stuck in a snake's mouth. I believe it got its head stuck there because it was tricked. The snake was like, excuse me, Mr. Frog, <laughs> I'm sick. Please come here. And Mr. Frog, being an upstanding member of society, was like, oh, what's wrong? How can I help? The snake said, can you please perform a gastroscopy on me? I have heartburn. I need you to just take a quick look into my gullet and let me know if there's anything abnormal going on down there. The frog said, no fucking worries. And then bam, the snake locked onto its dumb face. So that's where we're at. That's how we got here. Now the snake is taking the frog back to its slimy lair. It's going to devour it. It's going to digest it. And it will probably shit it out in a few days. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. There's nothing we can really do about that. Oh, no! I, I was wrong! I was being a dodgy, cynical fuck knuckle. The frog has managed to get away. It is gone. It has piss bolted. It's out of there. I can't see it. It's totally gone. Oh, no, there it is. It's sitting right there on its fat fucking ass. Move! Go! Get a wriggle on! Escape! Ah, uh, fuck yes, welcome to fight day. The time has come, ladies and gents. We have discovered America's most badass cop. Remember Dirty Harry? Fuck him. Shaft? Fuck him. Robocop? Fuck that guy. This here, this bloke, is America's new number one. I suppose these street toughs were like, Oi, pig, you reckon you're so good because you got a gun? And he was like, Oi, what did you say, mate? And then he got his gloves out of the car or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how it went down. Anyway, here we go. Round one. Ding, ding, ding. Let's commence. Oh, he wastes fuck all time. That was some efficient cop boxing. There's a jabby jab and he stays low. Another jabby jab. The civilian already has a bit of shit in his pants, I reckon. That guy yells world star as he gets the best camera angle. And they just toy with each other here. Nice and easy. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, they, oh, 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 wow. I'm honestly just making turkey noises because I am so impressed. He's got all the combos. He's got hooks, jabby jabs, uppercuts. He should be a character in Street Fighter. Oh, that was a bit low. Nah, there was a dodgy low blow there. there. Oh, there was a huge fucking hit to the skull. The civilian is trying to fight back. He's trying to lift his game, but the copper is too composed. And in comes the referee. That's enough. Everyone is like, yeah, nah, you can do more than just shoot people. She loves it. She got value for money. Yeah, nah, he is truly a hard-boiled detective who should not be pushed over the edge. Here we have one of the most intense videos on the internet, so if you're an anxious person, look away now. Okay, for those of you still here, as you can see, this Sheila is stranded near a hill and she's hanging out of the top of her sunroof. The whole side of the road is fucking flooded. Thankfully, emergency services has arrived and they've brought in their big fuck off life raft. She's like, bring it a bit closer. Can you bring it a bit closer, please? I don't want to get my feet or my pants wet. They reach out to her. That guy's like, come with me if you want to live. And she slides in slowly. She's made it. She's done it. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. She's safe. Stop panicking. No one panic. They're trying to calm her down. She's a bit hysterical. They're like, don't worry, don't worry. This is what we're here for. She's like, well, if I want to use emergency services, I'm a taxpayer. I'll fucking use emergency services. They're like, we know. It's totally fine. They now have to commence the long journey back to dry land. And I reckon, I reckon they're going to make it. Anything could happen, but no. Yep. All good. 
They fucking made it. <laughs> I told you it was intense. It was truly... It was hairy there for a while. I didn't know what was going to happen. They could have capsized. Crocodile could have come out of nowhere. And look, oh, there's a lot of services there. We've got police. There's an ambulance. Probably a fucking fire truck out the back. She's going off to um, see a psychologist and commence the long road to recovery. Should be all good. Yeah. Oh, the cockroach goes down onto his back. He's kicking and squirming, and now he plays dead. He's like, oh, you got me. I'm fucked. You totally stung me right in the heart. The wasp says, no, I didn't. I didn't even connect properly. The cockroach says, yeah, you did. I'm bleeding out. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. The wasp grabs him by the leg and then continues fucking him up. He's like, I know you're not dead yet, but you will be soon, motherfucker. Just give up. Give up on your stupid cockroach life. The cockroach says, hang on, my life's not stupid. Just because I'm a cockroach, it doesn't mean I'm a piece of shit. My life has meaning. I have goals and aspirations and shit I want to achieve. Eventually, whoa, what the fuck? Was that Godzilla? I think it was. Holy shit balls. You yeah, know, yeah, this cockroach was absolutely getting sent to destination, fucked by the wasp. I can't believe that this human just kept filming. Is this a sociopath behind the camera? I mean, if that was a fucking unicorn getting attacked by the wasp, everyone would be outraged. We'd be like, you're supposed to help unicorns when they're in trouble, but just because it's a cockroach, we're supposed to be like, oh, it's funny, a cockroach. Oh, and there's the lizard. I mean, it's nature at the end of the day. There's not a lot you can do. As Qui-Gon Jinn, said in The Phantom Menace, there's always a bigger fish. Or in this case, a big fucking lizard. Ugh, join the Korean army today. You too could learn to break shit with your fucking neck and your fists and your feet. There's a spinny kick and another spinny kick. Is this guy gonna get kicked in the fucking head? No, because the Korean army is highly skilled and they know how to break shit. Efficiently, you can lay down and have your mates smash a concrete slab over your chest, break bricks, chop suey, whammy, kapow, get fucked, yeah! Join the Korean army, use your index finger to break light bulbs, learn how to just get fucking tangled up, and then how to untangle yourself and get out of a pickle. These are the skills that you can learn in the Korean army. Ooh, fuck yes. Learn how to have a fucking rock thrown at you and an ax hit against your abs. Have all your mates break a stick on your legs. No worries, doesn't even hurt. It doesn't hurt because you, oh, learn how to do a flip. You are in the Korean army. What the fuck? Oh, oh. Dear me, I don't know why I'm promoting the Korean army. They haven't even paid me. Why am I being an influencer for them? It's a bit weird. You don't have to join unless you're looking for something new to do.